Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. Today we are gonna do a fun watercolor cactus. So let's get started. All right, so today's supplies, I'm using a Winsor Newton watercolor palette. I will link my exact one below. I've had it for over like four or five years, lasts a long time. Um, there's other options of this as well that you can find. Um, and then I am using a round brush, a number 14 for my size. I just always like using a bigger brush. You can use a smaller one, um, but make sure it is a round brush for today's painting. And then we're also gonna do some ink on top of our watercolor cactus. And so um, some type of black ink that is waterproof. And then we're also gonna do some fun little highlights with um, this white gel pen as well. For our paper today, I am using um, watercolor paper, 140 pound, um, which when you are doing watercolor, it is kind of important to have that thicker, nice watercolor paper. Um, it will make your colors brighter and pop and be able to hold the watercolor on your paper. Um, this is cold press as well. There's hot press and hot press is a little bit harder to work with. So if you're just starting out, make sure that you grab um, watercolor paper that is cold press. All right, let's get going. Okay, so this time we're gonna start out um, sketching in our cactus and it's gonna be coming over from the corner of our paper and it's kind of rounded. So I'm just kind of pulling up, trying to get the shape. And then some of it's gonna be going off the paper. Okay, now that we've got this part of our cactus drawn in, we're gonna do um, a, little, a couple flowers on here as well. And so I'm just doing um, a U shape first, and then I'm gonna come in and put in a few lines for my petals um, that are gonna be on there. And these are just little kind of rough outlines because we're gonna come back and just erase this because we barely wanna see our lines so that they don't show up when we start watercoloring. Okay, before we do our cactus, we're gonna do the background on here. And for this, I'm gonna do a nice bright um, background that will kind of help the green cactus pop even more. So I'm gonna use um, kind of my yellowy gold color, whatever you have um, in the yellow, yellow gold family, that's what we want. And I'm actually just kind of cleaning some of this out because sometimes I get some green in there. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of this color too. That looks like the color I use the most because that's the one I'm gonna have to replace first. That's the one that is actually starting to look like I need a new one soon. Probably in another few months. <laughs> okay, so I've got some yellow going on and then I'm also gonna just clean out my reds as well over here. To clean out your paints if you do start mixing other colors on top, which Sometimes I do. Um, just grab water on your brush and then pull off that color and eventually you'll kind of start to get um, the color that's laying on top completely off your paint so that it's all clean. There we go. Those are looking nice. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse out my brush. Cause we are gonna use, we're gonna kind of fade this we're gonna start off with yellow and kind of come down and just in this bottom corner, add in a little bit of red while it's wet. Red, orange, whatever you have. Um, okay, really nice. 
nice bright and you don't have to be too worried um, if this gets on your cactus because the green is gonna be so much darker um, you won't even you won't even see it and even come in here and pull some of this off. And then so I'm going to grab some red, rinse off my brush, and just kind of pull that in. Taking some of the water off. Okay, that looks pretty good for right now. I kind of took some off on this side um, and just made it a little bit lighter. And that's just to give this kind of more contrast and depth having, you know, a little bit lighter of yellows and darkers of golds. And again, trying to make this side um, darker and then lighten it up on this side. I'm gonna go blow dry this real fast because we want this dry before we start doing our cactus on top. We don't want to do it wet, otherwise our green will bleed into this color we just put down. Okay, now we are ready to come in and work on our cactus. So make sure your brush is all rinsed out. And for our cactus, we're going to kind of use three main colors. You're going to use whatever green you have on your palette. Um, and then we want to use yellow in with our green and then we're also gonna put in blue. I'm just gonna kinda get, make it real nice and we're gonna start with the dark green. We have a nice contrast to it. So I'm grabbing my green over here. Add a little blue. And we're gonna start in the corner of our cactus. kind of just put it down um, and then come back and grab some more green on top of there and then also some blue so that this is um, kind of setting in while it dries and mixing together on the paper together and there's gonna be spots of this darker color and then spots of our lighter color in a second that we're gonna do and I'm kind of doing this on the bottoms because that's where our darker color would rest. Sounds like a dog fight out there. Now while all of that is still wet, we're going to come with our yellow and start putting that in. And so right now I'm doing a lot of wet into wet on this cactus. Um, so all of this is wet because we've I've kind of gone over all the areas now and I'm gonna come back with more yellow and place that in um, kind of these spots that are up higher. Rinse out my brush. Just lightly tap those with some more water. It's a little too much over here. This is gonna give us some fun um, effects as this dries. And I'll kind of show you once it's dry what I'm talking about with these fun effects. Adding now just a little bit of blue into these spots as well. The fun part with watercolor is really just coming in and dabbing in these colors together. Um, and letting them mix on the paper. 
I love that with watercolor. paper towel and then just come in and dab in a few of these spots to lift some of the color. And again, it's just kind of giving us a little bit more texture too in here. So the fun part about putting your colors on while it's wet is you get all these little spots. I'm gonna lit up to the camera a little bit higher too so you can see these fun little starburst spots where the colors are just mixing and blending. Um, and that's really one of the most fun parts about watercolor because it's one of the only mediums you can really get that cool effect. So now that that's dry, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put um, our little flowers on here. So I'm gonna use uh, a red, um, but I'm going to have it a little bit more like a magenta color. So I'm going to add over here. I've got more of like a purpley color to mix in with those. Okay. We got to come back in and put our little flowers on here. Take a little water off my brush. And then I'm also going to even add a little more starting to dry we're gonna take our pen and start coming in with some details in here so at first I'm gonna go around my shapes and then I'm gonna come back and do some stippling um, with the pen Okay, now with the pen, I'm gonna come in and start doing um, dots and more concentrated dots on my darker spots um, where the shadows would be. Fast. 
Okay, I'm gonna come and start to define my flowers. Now I'm going to come with my white gel pen and do some white dots on top. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get um, a marker and just come back in on top of these flowers. And then come back with my pen and then do the stippling on the flowers as well. Okay, I'm gonna take the tape off, see how it looks. Take our pen and do our signature down below, right? Looks awesome. And this is a perfect little thing to do for maybe Mother's Day coming up, um, or even for yourself. Having that nice white border makes it just look nice, clean, and crisp, and um, looks awesome if you put it in a little bit of little frame for it too. Thank you for following along in today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be doing videos every week. And then also here is some more options um, with doing the watercolor cactuses as well. You can always do a different colored background, different kinds of cactuses, cacti, um, and have fun with it. I'll see you next time.